Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Nicole. So in today's video, I will show you guys how to complete this rosy makeup look. And I had to do voiceover because my neighbor's dog just decided to bark non-stop when I was filming this video. So I apologize if my voice sound weird because I am literally cringing right now just recording my own voice and just going back and listening to this clip so I can make sure that there's no there's nothing wrong with the audio but yeah just I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you are interested just keep watching also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video just footage of me being awkward before we get started so yeah there's that uh, just me being awkward in front of the camera since it's been a long time since the last time i filmed anyway let's get started also i put on some christmas nail stickers on my nails and i just wanted to show you guys before they get destroyed and the first product that i am going to use is mac primer um, I forgot the name but it's the one with glitters and it's in pink shade I think they have two different shades one's gold and I forgot about the other one but I'm using pink I don't usually apply this primer but sometimes when I'm in the mood I will apply it and today happened to be that day when I'm in the mood so I love using this primer because it makes my foundation look more glowy and it also helps to blend my foundation the reason why I don't usually apply this primer is because sometimes people can get confused between glowy makeup look and like you being sweaty and have oily skin because it did happen to me once like someone told me that my face was really oily even though it was like my typical go-to glowy makeup look so i don't want people to come up to me and be like oh my god you're sweating so much that's why i don't really apply this primer and the next product i am going to use is from innisfree it's uh, my go-to cushion in the shade 23 and the one i used is for like glowy look um, I'm using this cushion because I ran out of my foundation. It is the only foundation that I actually used completely. But I tried to get a new one, but for some reason they don't sell it anymore in Australia. So I um, kind of just have to rely on the only um, foundation that I have, like the same product, which is the go to cushion. I always apply my foundation with this makeup sponge from Colourpop. It is so good. Like, it is the best sponge that I have ever used. Like, it's better than Real Techniques in my opinion. So if you guys haven't tried it, and if you're looking for like makeup sponge, I highly recommend you to try it because it's so freaking good. Like, I had to order more um, fun color pop because I just love it so much. And then just make sure that you are blending your foundation well. You know the drill, just dab, 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 dab. I like to take my time to blend my foundation because I feel like um, base makeup plays a really important role in terms of your makeup look so yeah I always take my time and I try to make sure that I blend my foundation well I don't really like my face when I'm like applying and blending my foundation like the way with my lips and how I like make that face but um yeah i had to show you guys in front of the camera because it's part of the process and um, also i forgot to edit out this part so there's that and just me looking for my concealer uh, which i do every day because i can never find it 
If you have seen my other videos, you probably know what concealer I use because it's the only concealer that I use. Um, I just love it so much and it's from Bobbi Brown, like instant full cover concealer in the shade Scent. And again, I'm just going to apply my concealer with the scent sponge that I use for my foundation. Um, yeah, it's from Colourpop. Alright, let's move on to my eyebrows. So I am using this um, NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe and it's like micro brow pencil so as you can tell it's like really slim and I love like really slim type of brow pencil because it just it's like really easy to control and like it just makes your brows look more natural in my opinion and like if you haven't like tried this product before then and if you are like looking for like a really decent micro brow pencil then I like highly recommend you this one because I try using Rimmel and like CoverGirl's micro brow pencils I don't know if it's a texture or it's just the way like the formula but like when you like try to go over the same spot several times like back and forth with Rimmel and CoverGirl's brow pencil they tend to stick and like it creates like an uneven patch on my eyebrows and it just looks really weird and unnatural so yeah it just really I don't know because it feels really waxy and really sticky but with NYX micro brow pencil you don't like I don't have this kind of problem because um it doesn't stick I don't know I think it's the formula but the color is also very natural and I just love it so much so pretty much all I do is to follow the shape of my eyebrows and just fill in like the space yeah um, like I said it just looks really natural like you guys can see on camera, hopefully. Also, don't forget to blend out the edge to make it look more natural.
Okay, let's move on to the next product. So for my brow mascara, I'm using this um, brow mascara, from skinny brow mascara from Innisfree. Um, they don't have a number for this shade, but it's like the only shade without a number. They have like brown number one, brown number two, and this is the only one without a number. And it's also the lightest shade they have for this skinny brown mascara. I don't know how to describe this process, but it's just like the same as applying mascara except it's your brows. If you have light hair color or bleached hair and you haven't bleached your brows, then I highly recommend you to try using brown mascara because it will help to like make your brows look more natural especially if you have like light hair color and you haven't bleached your brows and if your brows are like dark in nature it's by far the best brown mascara that I have ever used because um, it just really more like really skinny so um, you can take care of like details I guess <laughs> excuse my limited vocabulary I am seriously so bad at describing makeup steps Now that I am done with my brows, I can finally put my bangs down. I gotta be real honest, the reason why I got bangs was because I could save time on doing my brows because once I have my bangs down, no one can really tell if my eyebrows are even. Alright, let's move on to eyeshadow. So, um, the eyeshadow that I'm going to use is this eyeshadow palette from Himi. Himi is a Taiwanese makeup brand, like a um, drugstore makeup brand. They make a bunch of nice affordable products. Before I start doing my eye makeup, I like to use a sponge just get um, to get rid of my crease line because um, you know the struggle, there's always crease line and it's annoying. And I like to use my fingers to check that my eyelids are tacky. So I'm using this eyeshadow crease brush from e.l.f. And pretty much all I do is I take the lightest shade in the palette and just like apply it on my eyelid. And I like to use a bigger blending brush just to blend out my eyeshadow um, this is from a Japanese makeup brand called Rosy Rosa this brush is really soft and I really love it and just repeat the same step for my other eye I feel like if you wanna do like a really nice eye makeup look, you really need to take the time to blend your eyeshadow. I feel like 
the key to good eye makeup look is blending. And I'm moving on to this um, pink that's slightly darker than the first pink shade and just apply it close to my lash line and don't forget about your lower lash line And again, just use a bigger blending brush to blend out my eyeshadow and the edge. And just me showing you guys before and after, wow, makeup can really change everything. And then I'm gonna go in with this um, dark red, like maroon brick red, rusty red, whichever one you wanna call. Um, yeah, near my lash line. Just really try to create that gradient. Now I'm gonna use my finger to apply this glitter shade. I absolutely love their glitter shades, it's so pretty. Um, I feel like it's easier to apply glitter shades with my finger, so that's what I usually do.
and you can skip this step but because I'm very extra so I like to make my eye makeup look really intense I like to add some glitters um, on my lower lash line but if you want to keep it natural then you can just skip this step And don't forget to curl your lashes. You can literally just use whatever eyelash curler that you prefer. Um, I don't have any that I want to recommend, so yeah. And for my mascara, I'm using this uh, mascara from Can Make. It's brown because today's makeup is supposed to be soft. That's why I want to use like a warmer colors so um, it looks softer compared to like normal black mascara I mean, wow, the power of mascara is amazing. And I forgot to show you guys how it looks. So here's a closer look of the applicator. Now let's move on to contouring. I like to um, use this blending brush from Sigma. Um, pretty much the only blending brush I use for contouring with this MAC single eyeshadow in the shade Omega. Um, I'm not like a pro in terms of contouring, so I just like to follow the shape of my bone structure and my nose um, because I just like to keep it natural, but if you guys are interested in contouring, then maybe you can check out other videos from other YouTubers because I am not a professional. And I like to use my fingers to blend out just so it will look more natural. As for my blush, I'm using this NARS Orgasm. Um, if you haven't bought this blush, yet you really need to get it because it is so pretty like and you can use it based on your needs because i use it every day i love it so much you can use it in any occasion you can keep it light and natural but you can also build it up to make it really intense
Now let's move on to lips. So I'm using this lip water stain in the shade 610. Um, when I was planning for this makeup look, immediately I thought, oh my god, I need to use this uh, lip water stain because it's so pretty. It's really soft, elegant, and really has that rosy vibe. I finally understand why everyone's raving about this product after I got it. It is my go-to lip product. It's just so pretty and natural. I like to blend out the edge with my fingertips just to keep it uh, more natural. To make it last longer, I like to use um, tissue just to wipe off like the surface and then just apply another layer. <laughs> oh my god, I look like a fish when I do that. To make it look even more intense, I want to add another layer of lipstick. It's from Romand. Um, I forgot the shade, but I will um, put it in the description box. So it's supposed to be matte. So if you want to like add different layers of different lip products, um, what I like to do is I like to like put the final product near the center of my lips and just use my fingertips to blend out. And yeah, there you go. The final product is Fendi Beauty's uh, Diamond Bomb Highlighter in the shade of how many carrots. Um, I think that's the only shade they have for that specific highlighter. And I'm using my ColourPop um, brush with my Little Pony collection. So that's all for this rosy makeup look. I seriously do not understand how it took me 31 minutes to complete this makeup look. But I like to take my time to do my makeup and yeah, it just goes up to like 31 minutes at least every time I film. So I apologize if you feel like the video length is too long. And here's a closer look of um, this rosy makeup look with Himi's eyeshadow palette. It's in the shade burnt orange. Even though it's burnt orange, it's really pinkish for some reason. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. And I'll see you guys next time.